Hi, I'm Kate Gaffney, Senior Staff Attorney in NISBA's Legal Department. Welcome to another edition of NISBA's Mailbag. Today's question asks, what are the general procedures districts must follow before imposing a short-term suspension on a student? The answer is important because if the procedures are not followed, the commissioner may order the district to erase the suspension from the student's record. It could also affect the implementation of the Dignity for All Students Act, which requires progressive discipline against students who engage in harassment, bullying, and or discrimination based in part on a student's previous disciplinary record. In general, the procedures require that the district give the student notice of the charge misconduct. The district must also send written notice of the incident immediately to the student's parents in their dominant language or mode of communication. The notice must inform them of their right to an immediate informal conference where the student or parent can present the student's version of the incident and question complaining witnesses in front of the principal. In addition, the district must give the written notice an opportunity for an informal conference before the suspension begins unless keeping the student at school poses either a continuing danger to persons or property or an ongoing threat of disruption to the academic process. In these instances, the notice and opportunity for an informal conference must take place as soon as possible after the start of the suspension, with the written notice stating that one or both of these exceptions apply. Finally, the district must deliver the written notice personally by express mail or other means that ensures parents will receive it within 24 hours of the principal's decision proposing the suspension. Where possible, notice must also be given by telephone. Should you have any questions regarding the short-term suspension process, please contact NISBA's legal department. Thank you, and please send any other questions you might have to mailbag at nisba.org. Have a great day.